What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how to sidechain reverb on vocals. This can also be done with delay, or pretty much, you know, whatever you want. But mostly reverb and vocals in this case, in this particular demonstration. So, I have my vocal here. We kick it dirty. This party over here! And I have we it looped it because dirty. there's explicit language. And this I know party some over of here. You don't like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do, just gonna name this lead vocal, um, just so I can keep track of it and put it on a lighter color so I can see the title of the track. And the next thing I'm gonna do, gonna create a gonna go to my utilities and create a spider audio merger and splitter. Flip it over send the parallel out into this input here for both the left and the right. Now when we hit play, we kick it dirty. we'll see we're getting a signal. This party over here! The next thing I'm going to do is create a second mix channel. The second mix channel is for the reverb. Gonna name it reverb. And once again, change the color to something I can see. Now I'm going to create my reverb. I'm going to use a uh, Fab Filter Pro R. You can use whatever you would like. And actually, when I create it, I'm going to hold down Shift so that it does not auto connect. So, in terms of auto connect, I mean the cables. So I was looking at Fab Filter Pro R, holding down Shift. Now when I flip over and hit tab, it did not connect. Now the next thing we want to do is send the audio out to the input of this track. The thing after that is to take one of these outputs and put it into the input of the reverb channel. Now when we flip over, we you see dirty. we are getting a signal into this, this reverb channel. Over here. Now the next thing we're going to do is take one of, another one of these outs and send it into the sidechain input of the reverb. So again, we're taking the vocal output and we're putting it into the input, the sidechain input of the reverb. In this case, this means that the reverb will duck upon amplitude gains or signals from the lead vocal. Now I'm going to flip over to the mixer. We keep and we see dirty. this key button is lit up. going to go There's ahead and shut down the sends area because this is not, we're not utilizing the send area. So, over here. We keep it dirty. Going to turn this comp on. This and I'm going to set this on really harsh settings so that we can hear what's going on. We kick it dirty. This party over here. See how it jumped up at the end? That's because it's being sidechained, and when the vocal is no longer at a certain amplitude, the reverb will jump up. So we can change those settings. We, we could also dirty. turn down the reverb. This party over here. Using this gain knob. We kick it dirty. This party over here. Turn up we the release. Dirty. This party over here. We kick it dirty. This party over here. We kick it dirty. So essentially, you would handle this process in context of your entire track, beat, other vocals, backing vocals, and so on. But in this case, I just wanted to keep it simple. Didn't want a million tracks everywhere. If you would like some tracks to practice mixing on, I'm gonna drop a link in the description to a Cambridge website. It's a, a companion to the, it's a book called The Mixing Secrets. Something to that nature. It looks like this. So definitely check out the free multi-tracks and practice your mixes. The hip-hop tracks are all the way at the bottom. There's also rock tracks and so on. So definitely check that out. 
this is where I got this from and it is by an artist called side effects so if you like this video give it a like comment subscribe most definitely let me know what you would like to see next it's all culture kick back and cook up and as an ending side note if you want to get more involved with the cables on the back of the rack definitely check out the cable chaos playlist that i have it'll be you know around here somewhere see you next time